Okay, this universe is a closed off insane asylum, you could say. Okay, so this earth, this galaxy, is like the insane asylum of creation. In other words, there's the whole of creation, but there is a closed off realm of which this earth and this galaxy is a part. This has become closed off from the rest of creation and it operates completely separately from the rest of creation. In other words, there are as we all know, there are other universes beyond this universe. But our universe is a closed off, insane asylum matrix that operates, as I've said before, under duality, which is like um, the love, hate, right, wrong, um, good, bad, Everything, rules, regulations, uh, a system, it, it's all controlled. It's all like that. And that is because this is a closed off region. This sounds quite um, bizarre, but this is what I have concluded after looking at things. And from what I, others have said, etc., you pick it up and... It operates that way and it serves a purpose that way too, evidently. Its purpose is essentially to sort out things, you could almost say. In other words, it's almost like, look, you could look at it a lot, lot of ways. To me, I look at it as positive and negative, right? Everything is positive and negative. Religious people might look upon it as God versus Satan. Um, other people might look at it a whole different way. There's a whole lot of different ways. I just say positive and negative. So depending on how you see the world, that's okay, I think, to do that because there's a bit of truth in everything. Even in religion, there is a bit of truth. Religions go on track, in my opinion, but then at some point they tend to go off the rails. They're on track and then they go off the rails because there's a lot of truth in it as there is in this duality world. This world has truth, but it also always has the opposition to truth. And the opposition tends to have the upper hand. In other words, this world is like a casino, right? And the house always wins. You know, you can play and you might win one round. You might win a bit of money, but the house always wins. The casino always wins. It has to. It controls everything and it couldn't operate if it allowed everyone to win, you see. So it's like that. Yeah. But any anyway, rate, the thing is, what I am saying is that, yes, this is kind of like where you could say it's a kind of hell even, okay? If you want to be religious, you could say this domain is the hell that domain now some people would definitely differ with that they would say but oh if I'm naughty I'll go to hell they don't realize that this actually already is the worst this is the worst domain this is the insane asylum this is where uh, when I say insane asylum I think that makes more sense than hell because it's more like yeah the it's, it's more like where you're restricted and you've got very few choices, you know. Um, uh, some people might see it as total hell. If de That depends on where you are in the world too. Because if you're in a war zone, but actually we're all in a war zone, but different areas of the world will be more physical and others will be more mental. In other words, the, the war on you will be more mental in some areas and more physical in other parts of the world. But essentially it's both really, um, in a way, because, you, you know, like you don't have to see bombs going off around you to be in a war zone. You can still be under attack, and we all are, because 
this is it's a duality world it's a positive negative thing it's it's always and the, and the negative controls the whole thing so they have that so yes yeah, so the house has the upper hand the casino has the upper hand the casino cannot really lose but it can lose a few inmates that's about all but it's not going to lose its whole thing not unless every single inmate <laughs> Um, decides to become positive, shall we say. And that's very hard for you to do because the domain you live in is negative. So that keeps you negative. It's very hard to be positive if the world around you is negative, you see. But essentially what I am saying is that it's it, it does seem to serve some sort of purpose. It escapes me at times because I think that I've always been of the mind that humans, if they were left to themselves, would automatically be okay and do the right thing. It's because of all the negativity and the the right wrong and the negative positive that they're in the dilemma, I think. But that's only me and, and I have to go along with the with the setup and the and the world that's around me because you're in it, so it's no good me saying, oh, I don't think it's necessary, or or, or, even, or even if I go along with others that say it serves a purpose. It does serve a purpose, there's no doubt about that. It must serve a purpose, otherwise it would probably not be allowed to exist even, I wouldn't think, because I think that it is definitely totally separate to everything that is outside of it. It's the negative realm it's the insane asylum. It is the um, it is operated by negative energy, negative entities, and it is totally separate from the rest. And it is deliberately allowed and and operates, and it's closed off. It's closed off. It's unlikely, I would think, that it could spread past this universe. I don't think that would be allowed, but I could be wrong. Um, but I think it is allowed because it is that, because that's right. If you take it, take it from a real world point of view, that in the real world we've had insane asylums, we've had things like that. And if you look at the big world, there's only been a few of them or a very limited amount of them on this actual planet, if you if you look at it space-wise. Well, that's how I look at it in the big picture, is that this Earth and this galaxy, I say that this galaxy because I believe that it's not just this Earth that is the domain that is like that, that is, that is negative and controlled that way. <clears throat> My information and I assume it's correct, but not that it matters because we live on this earth so we're not going to go past it, right? So I shouldn't be going past that. There's no point in me saying there could be other planets out there that might have life and they might also have been closed down um, like this planet, you know. Um, so this earth operates that way. It is a separate thing that essentially and i'm not going to say that it houses all people who are of that negative thing but it has gone that way in other words the insane asylum now is run by the inmates who are insane and and this is why there's so much chaos on the planet because essentially, see, insanity is like this. This is how I see insanity. And there again, you probably say I'm crazy, but insanity to me is really chaos of the mind. It's really where you are not getting your thoughts in order, I think, and you are see, even when you see truth, you get it all wrong or you, you push it into a negative vein. In other words, the people, the the, the humans that that are that are the um, the doctors and the nurses of the insane asylum, because they're they're the ones that like the the, the controlling ones, the ones that that are in um, positions that have more control over you and me, shall we say, right? 
Um, they are also in the frame of mind where their thoughts are chaotic. They're not seeing things in a logical, human, normal way that a human being should think. Now, that probably sounds a bit strange too, but, but essentially they're, they're, they've split up their thinking and they've also lost their connection to other um, human beings, which is um, what what my original thing has always been on this thing, where we're spiritual beings in, in a physical body, in this physical domain, which is separate from the rest of everything else, which is total kind of insane, controlled... Asylum, shall we say, where we're tested. We're tested. We're tested all the time to choose between the negative and the positive. That's what it comes down to. And most of the time we choose the negative because the whole domain operates through negativity. And when it's not set up for us to actually um, easily win. In fact, it's set up for us to almost find it very impossible to win. Um, and that goes for everyone, but some people, if they serve the negative forces, shall we say, while well, they hear they're more rewarded and they, they are given a pleasant life on this earth, whereas if you don't serve them, then, like the rest of us, not such a pleasant life, okay? A harder life and less, less benefits and less um, luxuries and less um, goodies type of thing. And that's how it kind of works. But even they are still have to be negative in order to do that. They're never allowed to be totally on top of the world. They're allowed, I think, because I think that even they have to serve the negative, you see. In other words, if it was religious, it would be they have to serve the opposite to what is creative, the creative kind of godlike thing. Um, I'm rambling again, I've lost sight of it. Look, this universe was probably created at one time by a creative type of force, right? Creative God, creative being, whatever you want to, because human beings are very much conditioned, as we all are, to see God even a certain way. It probably isn't really like how we imagine it, no. But there was some creation, right? What we have in this domain, on earth is the opposite of creation. We have the destructive force ruling. The insane asylum operates under creativity and negativity. In other words, positive and negative creativity and destructive destruction. The positive is creativity, the negative is destruction. We have the duality in this world as I've said before. Outside of the insane asylum, there is, I have been informed, there is not the duality. So there is not so much of the destructive force. It's mainly just creating. Human beings, this is the dilemma they're in in this domain, human beings are spiritual beings in the physical body their thought creates reality, so they are creative beings. And they're all connected. But as you can see, and I've said this before, most of us are not aware of this. We do not have it under our control. We do not know how it operates. We do not know how to put it into practice. And we certainly don't think that we are all mentally connected. We operate through the technology of the duality insane asylum that is this earth, this closed region. This is all operated by technology. This is um, the negative force. This works against the human creativity, okay? Because humans create with their thinking. Their thought creates reality. They don't believe that. They don't know it. They're doing it all the time directly and indirectly, consciously and subconsciously, mainly subconsciously, which is also another thing because we have been denied in this 
um, chaotic world we live in and and even scientifically we know that our subconscious is pretty much closed off to us but it operates but we do not have full thinking capacity over it so we're creating with it and because we are kept in a negative frame of mind and in a negative realm naturally the subconscious would be creating negativity it's not that hard to actually see if you take all those points into it and if you look around at the world but you do have to look around and actually accept that and that is the hard thing it's very hard Um, and for most people it's impossible and this is why the insane asylum keeps going and will keep going Um, and it's allowed to go it's it's it, it can't be stopped even if outside of the universe say even if there was creative forces outside, God-like creative things, they cannot stop it because it is our choice and we are supposed to be making different choices to what we always do. And this is why the insane asylum has got more insane, more negative and, um, and we ourselves are becoming much less. We're supposed to be evolving, but as I said before, we're devolving. We've devolved right down to the lowest that a human can be. Um, Whereas we were supposed to be, if we have the creative thing, that means that outside of this realm, we should be um, part of the creative thing. Instead, we are choosing to be part of the destructive. A bit like, yeah... um, you could almost put, if you want to put it in a religious way, that really means that most people who are religious even are not really um, operating in the true way of even their faith in a way because um, if they are operating negatively in any way and any time they are disconnected from another human being, because if we're all connected, that means any time you have a bad thought about another human being, or even when you will argue with them, think you're right, they're wrong, even like I'm doing now, because I am sort of might be saying, hey, I think I'm right about something, but I'm not going to say that, because that's right. It is for you to choose. It's for everyone to choose. It's not for me. I can put out what I think or what I know, but it's still up to humans whether they say we don't want to take our, what I would consider to be almost your birthright if you you look at it that way because if you have abilities and you're not told of them and you're not using them and you're unaware of them, you're throwing away your chance to have at least some input into the Um, institution that you live in you know because it's an insane asylum it's an institution but you know even as you know yourself down through the centuries even the insane asylums were horrific at one point and then towards the end they started to get beneficial and humane to where people were benefiting from them of course now most of them are closed down well this is this is because that's right, We can humans have to do it themselves. The matrix, the insane asylum, the system that we live in will not help you. If you think it is helping you, that is only to mislead you for a time so that you don't take your own choice and your own... don't realise that you have the um, ability to control it, to control the institution they will get you will get freedom only so that you hand over your ability to the institution in other words that and that that's only so that you will not ever want to take over your institution or have any real say in it But this is closing down too, if you look at the world. So um, that's like I say, the insane asylums, the ones that actually did operate in this world, because they were beneficial, they close them down. Because it's a duality world and the, the negative force that controls it has to keep with the negative. Otherwise, humans would not be, um, there would be no test 
um, there would be no choice. You know, and this is the thing. So I'll just leave it there.